right, here's a short installation video for this brace kit. Um, the only thing you're really going to need to do is take a small M4 screw. I already did it, but use like a power drill or something to get it through first. Just to thread through the plastic because you need a tight fit on that hole. Um, yeah, they basically just go on. Um, you might want to file ex the excess uh, stuff inside the channel. You can see. But, uh, yeah, they fit on pretty easy. Just do it with one hand, too. So, this one came with the hole for a screw, but you don't really need it. You could use it if you want to. So, this is the order I do it. I don't think it, the order doesn't really matter. So, and then actually, the other thing you need to do if you don't use support for the top plate. Um, you have to file off the excess uh, filament on the bottom of this channel, right here, just so it fits on. You know, you want it to fit on there, nice and snug. So yeah, it should pop in like that. And then now, since you uh, already re you know pre-threaded this with like an electric drill, you could easily tighten it down onto the rod. So if you look now. I mean, it's actually just the plate supporting it, but the screw tightened a little bit down on it helps even more. Um, I just dropped the screw, but yeah, you get it. You tighten it down on there until you hit the rod. And um, <clears throat> the other thing I did too is just put tape where the nuts are so they don't fly out. You know, it's a pain in the ass trying to get it back in there. So just tape both sides so it doesn't fall out, and then you could easily. Uh, Get your M3 screw right back in there. So yeah, they use it the same, you know, same screws it came with, same everything. Uh, that's about it. Thanks, guys.